M0FXB, welcome. Let's set up the SDR control app, which you can use on your iPad or your mobile phone and Mac. On the radio, you just go menu, set network, then remember to plug your ethernet cable in the back of the device and into your broadband router. Scroll to the top, you'll already have an IP address there. Valid after restart, then scroll down. Network name, I just put mine as 7610. Network control valid after restart, tap that and turn that on. Keep your, I didn't change any of these. Internet access, no, didn't touch that. Network user, yeah, I changed that. M0FXB, put your call sign in. Create, you know, invent a password. Down to network user number one. Tap and turn that to on. So you're all set up and it makes sense to reboot everything. Now on the iPad, let's download the app. They're $29.99, I believe, for the basic one. And if you want the proper iPad one, the Mac one, there's another charge. You just tap that. And you just need to get in your settings. So tap the settings and you would click add uh, to start a new one. So that's a fresh one. If I cancel and just show you one I've set up for the 7610, we'll just click edit. So we've got the title 7610. The IP address you saw, I didn't change the port, that's already there. The username, password, you can have auto connect. And once you've done that, you just hit connect. So you choose the one, you could have multiple radios. And it even it's just turned on the radio. You know, so it does power on the radio as well. And there's lots of settings. So let's flick across and just see if we can have a go at FT8. Okay, we're on the iPad now. Let's do some FTA, connected in the normal way, but this time we press FTA, like so. And we're gonna tap this screen, this little window here. You get this and it just says, tap RX to start, but first of all, we're gonna choose our, our band. I'm gonna choose 40 meters, tap RX, and it moves everything and sets everything up for you. Hopefully you can see that. You can hear the radio, ETC. So the next thing we'll do is tap on, oh, there it all comes in. Tap on a station and click, we've selected that station, TX. And we'll wait a while. We've, I've set the power to 15, 15 watts. Got the timer at the top. Waiting for this to TX, maybe I have to hold my finger on it. Well, that's interesting. You get if you hold your finger on it, it gives you the, the information. Tap TX again. There it goes. And then we'll keep TXing, and then it will automatically reply in sequence if we get a contact. So let's just wait a while, see if we get a contact. Just show you what the radio looks like. I know it's it's quite hard to film when there's multiple screens here. So we're just being patient now while it auto TXs. Remember, you can walk anywhere in the house. You could be abroad, as long as you've got your internet IP address and the power is still going to your device. And this does work on the 7, 705, doing some TX there, look. And you just wait for your contacts. Works on the 9700, the receiver is the R8600. Apparently with the USB cable now, you can use it with the 7300. You've got this nifty map, when you select map there, you get this, which is like, you know, it's a grid tracker. Look at all the different toolkits that you get. 
and it's, and it's automatically just going away in the background. We can flick between the menus, there's the normal screen. Tap that, we just go back to seeing the frequencies. And like I said, if I go like this, we will hear everything coming from the iPad when it stops TXing. There you go. I'm actually hearing it from both at the moment. And it goes back into TX and then eventually you'll get a red line where you've had a contact. You can see it timing there. Just thought I'd quickly show you that and the setup. Thanks for watching my channel, M0FXB73. On the iPhone, 7610. Tap VFO if we want. Tap there for the scope. Looks very nice. And I believe eventually you start to get the FT8 call signs come appear here as well. So let's go to have a look now. DG modes, FT8 on here. Select 40 meters. Tap on RX to start. Eventually it all comes to life. Tap one that you like and then go TX. Hopefully we did do TX there. It's quite hard to see with my blurry vision. And notice if you hold your finger on these stations you get information, look. It even says here show on map. We're gonna see a map now, look at that, cool. How cool is that? Go back to FT8. They are double tap for the TX. And it's TX in now. And it will do everything automatically. It's very handy. And if you want to, you know, go back, it still keeps doing the FT8, I've noticed. Go back to VFO. You can even watch the waterfall. There's all the call signs there. Showing up. Zoom in on that a bit. Maybe a bit too zoomy. See all the call signs. You can listen on the phone or the tablet. By tapping the... You have to turn the volume up, which I haven't done. And also... And there's a lot this app does. You you do get a lot for your for what you pay. Go back to VFO. Oh, just TX in. Let's let it finish TX in. Now I tap VFO. There you are. You tap the waterfall, and that takes you back to VFO. You've got your different bands, mic level, RF power. So you've got a lot of adjustment that you can make there. Remember the toolkit. All these different things, CW mark, mark is it? DX cluster band plan. Give you an idea of what where, where you're allowed to. TX logbook, network stats. Oh, didn't know we had that. Look at, and so on. You know, obviously there's a lot packed into this. And if you're using the 705, there's the D star side. So I will try that out because I've got my set. I've still I've got my 705, which I absolutely love. Lots of settings here oh see the the red thing there it's letting me know that it's tx in have we got any contacts uh, you know we've only been doing it for five minutes Top fta and it's still trying to so yeah i thought i thought you'd find it interesting thanks for watching my channel and we will play around doing it on the 705 i've got my this is here I'll just quickly show you this while you're uh, while you're here, this is that RC twenty eight mic. If you look at this, and I, it's showing transmit there. The connection and look, it see that oh, I've just changed frequency there. <laughs> I shouldn't have done, but anyway, let's uh, end it there. Bye for now, seven three.